guys, this is Brandy, otherwise known as Mystery of Diamonds, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey y'all. Okay, so today I am, it was supposed to be a sneak peek, but you know, as we know, shipping is a little crazy, and so they weren't able to get it to me in time, so this is going to be a first look. So I do know that it has already come out yesterday, uh, but I cannot wait to show you guys what this actually looks like. I can't wait for me to see what it actually looks like. And hopefully you can kind of see uh, I have very colorful nails because this is a very colorful canvas. And I am so, so excited. Oh my gosh, when they showed this one to me, I was like super ecstatic because I... <gasps> I love, I love, 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 love what's in this bit, uh, in this canvas. Okay, so I'm just going to get out our stuff. This is a pretty big, whew, it's a big canvas. It's a, it's a monster. It's a monster boy. Okay, so um, we do get one of the new toolkits. Um, like I said, you may not always get a new toolkit. Um... They are trying to get them into more and more canvases, so just be patient, guys. They are getting there with it. But before we look at this, I'll show you a smaller image of what I am unboxing. Let's see. Ooh. I am unboxing Young and Wild by Linda Howard Bittner. Oh, I cannot, y'all, I cannot wait to get into this one. Now, this is one of the uh, stickers that I, the, I call these the smaller stickers that you can put on your boxes. Because I like to store my kits in my boxes, I put this on the side of the box so that as I stack them up, I can go and I can see which one it is. Okay, so I'm not going to take too incredibly long with the toolkit because by this time, you guys have probably already seen a ton of these toolkits. I'm just curious as to what other little stuff that I got as far as like what color pen, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so, well, hello. Um, <laughs> it says, it says, oh, you want to get out? You want me to get out? No. <laughs> okay, so, you know, it does come with a bag of baggies. It, so this time I've got a yellow pen with a yellow squishy um, comfort grip. Which, which doesn't want to go on there, and I don't want to take too much of y'all's time. So we're just, we're just, we're just going to put it right there. Y'all know it goes on to pen, hopefully. <laughs> um, this is a square. Oh, wait. This is the first time I've had them look like this. Um, okay, so because this is a square, you do get the branded Diamond Art Club tweezers. And these are the new ones that are the pink and white gradient. Usually, they have one thing on the end that I've gotten. So this one is the first one that I've gotten the little, I don't know, the, the little sheets. Now these are stabby stabby tweezers. So you do have to be careful. Uh, keep, now look, I'm going to stab myself just trying to put them back on, right? Um, you just want to keep these on there <laughs> when you're not using them so you don't stab yourself. It also comes with washi tape. Now, I have had this washi tape before, and I really love it. I think it's really pretty because it's that, you know, it's got, you got blue crosses, and this is that really nice. And I love the fact that they give you a ton of washi tape there. You also get uh, a container with your heart waxes in there. Just please, if you have never, ever... You know, like maybe you're new to diamond painting, you don't know. These do have a plastic cover that you've got to take off first so that you can actually get wax into your pen. And Diamond Art Club does have really, really good wax, so I do love it. And I like that it comes in this little container. You get a cover minder. Ooh, I've not gotten that cover minder before. Look at that. It looks like... Looks like marbling. <gasps> Is that not beautiful? Oh my gosh. And it has the strong magnets. Now, if you don't know what a cover minder is, um, you put this, like, so you pull your plastic back off your canvas. You put this part on top of the plastic and then up underneath your canvas, you put this magnet so that it attaches and it holds your plastic back for you to be able to work. We also get, now this one is, they have two different types of trays. They have the kind of, uh, a little bit, not right opaque-ish. It's trans, 
lucent um, and it's not transparent. This one is transparent. They both have the sparkles on it. You do have multi-placers. You have a seven-placer and a four-placer, and these are the thin ones. Absolutely got to love that they give you those. And then, of course, with your tray, you get a stopper. And these stoppers are so nice to be able to keep your drills from just spilling out due to shaking. So I am so grateful for these uh, tool kits. Um, now, if you don't get one of the new tool kits, don't worry. You know, you're not, it's not like you're not getting something that you need to be able to work your canvas because all of their tool kits, including their original tool kits, are absolutely amazing and give you everything that you need. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, so now, what we have been waiting for is this canvas. Oh, okay, okay. Woo. Try to get it out of the... And, of course, I, every time I try to take these out, I always rip the plastic. And I don't mean to. Like, I swear, I'm not trying to be rough with it, y'all. I'm not. Oh! Okay, so, y'all. <laughs> I'm struggling today. I'm struggling. Hold on. Come here. Un, 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 unbag. Unbag. Okay, there we go. That's going to be a little bit of trouble to get back in the bag, I dare say. Okay, so this canvas, this is made out of tarpaulin, which is unique to Diamond Art Club. It has this really nice, soft feel to it. It has scalloped and what we call surged edges, where it's perforated right here to keep your canvas from fraying. Okay, so let's try to... I'm going to unroll this, and I'm going to put the very massive... Oh, my God, y'all. Look at this. That is a massive thing of drills. I'm going to put the drills to the side so that we can see it in just a minute. Whew. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, so we do get... This is their new... Um, Pamphlet, my y'all seriously, who my brain not working? This is your new pamphlet that you have, um, and it gives you like what all's included in your kit, gives you tips and tricks. You have a thank you code. If you've never diamond painted before, you can use this QR code and go to this video, and it gives you all that tells you all how to do it. Um, they also have a link to the VIP group, step by step instructions. So, I mean, this is very useful, and um, if you've ever, if you have never gotten the app, um, you can get the app, and that app, and that's what these right here are, um, gives you a discount. Now, I want to, I want to talk about the discount just real quick, because with Diamond Art Club, they don't ever, ever, ever want you to pay full price for a canvas, Okay. Um, if you've never purchased from Diamond Art Club before, they do have uh, affiliates that have discount codes for your very first purchase. After that, you're going to get tons of codes. You just saw that you have one in your pamphlet. Uh, if you get the app for the first time, you get a discount there. Also, on your box is a QR code to be able to get 10% off. Uh, your shipping label is going to have a discount code and there's a discount code on your canvas so i mean not only that but they run like amazing specials all the time where you don't even have to have a discount code um and then of course if you join their vip facebook group they have even more surprises there so this is the big sticker once again, this is Young and Wild by Linda Howard Bittner. Oh, like, I am so excited. I was like, I am a huge, huge lover of animals, and I especially love exotic animals. And so you have your scarlet at Macaw. You've got the red panda here. Um, you have, uh, I forgot which kind, because it's not a capuchin monkey. Um... I don't think. Uh, and actually, that might be a capuchin. And then you have your elephant. You've got a turtle, zebra. You got a gorilla. I mean, just like penguin, uh, meerkat. Like, there's even more animals here than I can even say. I know we've got a lion cub here, and I mean, just 
Oh my gosh, all the colors, all the colors, all the animals, the giraffe. How did I miss the giraffe? He's like right there. This has 60 colors, y'all. Look at that, 60 colors. So, I mean, they and that, those, like, if you can't tell, look at all the rainbow. Love it. And there are, now with Diamond Art Club, the way that you know that you have uh, a kit or a AB, and I'll tell you what AB is in just a minute. This number right here needs to be up underneath the number 150. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five ABs. Looks like we have a red, a pink, blue, orange, and green. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to see. This is a 70 by 98 square. So, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I am going to kind of roll this back. Oh, actually, do I even have to roll it? Yeah, I'm going to roll it back just so that it will uh, lay down just a little bit flatter, quicker. Normally, uh, when you take it out of the box, if you just wait a little bit, it will flatten on its own. That's kind of the, the benefit of this tarpaulin, but because I am dying to show it to you guys, um, I need, I want to kind of roll it and you can do this because this is poured glue. Please do not. I am begging you. Don't do this. If you have a, um, one with opaque cover because it will mess up your canvas big time. Um, okay. Okay. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Hold on. I, I kind of want to get it where it's not upside down. Oh, 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 oh. my wow just wow <laughs> look at this <gasps> now oh my gosh okay so this whole outside part is all one color okay um and so you talking color blocker dream going up there and you know down here you're talking, and I'm trying to get the layer here. Um, I'm going to pull back a little bit. Well, no. <laughs> See, the glue is just so sparkly. It, <laughs> it has a little bit of a glare, too. But there are... Okay, let me put this back on. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let me try to see if I can fix this glare. Give me just one moment. Okay, so what we have here, like I said, we have a lot of, and forgive me because this is a large canvas that I'm, I'm trying to reduce some of the glare anyway, um, but all of this, when we say color blocking, it means that you can go and you can use your multi-placer all in here. And, oh my gosh. Okay, so I do want to look at the drills and then I will uh, turn this over. Uh, I'll put it back over here and I'll start pointing out where all of the ABs are and uh, I'll walk around my island <laughs> to try to get that. Okay, so let's turn this over and get to the drills. I'll be right back. Okay, so our massive bag of drills. Now, one of the things I wanted to note that I absolutely love um, about Diamond Art Club is that you do have a sticker here, and that sticker tells you the name of your canvas. Um, and before I, I totally forgot this, did not mean to. I was trying to think about that uh, glare issue, and my brain just stopped working. That's what happened. I want to show you this drill field. First off, you're going to notice the sparkles. Oh, oh, I got something on my little, I got something on my canvas. Oh, well, you know what? I can get it off. Not a big deal. Um, you do have the sparkles because their canvas is a very sparkly canvas. But look at these symbols. Y'all, I have never once had an issue with the clarity of symbols from Diamond Art Club. Like, they are always super, super clear. Okay, so now, now I can kind of turn this over. And we'll go through the drills. So, are we ready? Are we ready? Go down to Crinkle Town. I'm ready to go. Let me bring the camera down some. Okay, so let's go down to Crinkle Town. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, just so many drills. Okay, I don't even, okay, we're just, you know what, we're just going to start on the outside first. That's where we're going to start. Uh, but, you know, I'll try to see what we've got. So we do have, you know, pretty, pretty brown. And look at the backs of these. I just want to, I just want to show this. Look at the absolutely flat backs of these square drills. I mean, just, oh, Diamond Art Club, Mwah, gorgeous. So then we have some brown. We have this very, very pretty green. Now, 3865, this is that background. So we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Wow. Fourteen 3865. Then we have another really beautiful green, six ninety nine. We have a gray, 318. That's a really pretty gray. All right. So, one train down. Boop, boop. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so we have two of these four three threes. Pretty brown. Oh, whoa. <gasps> okay, y'all, this is our first AB. Okay, y'all, I'm just... <laughs> There's two. There are two bags of this. Okay, I cannot even right now. <gasps> I haven't gotten very many that have had like two. And we're talking, these are the big bags. <gasps> okay, so what is AB? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. This is 134. And um, I'm hoping you can see that there are some of these that when you can see has this sparkle here that's not necessarily there. I mean, their drills by themselves are sparkly, but AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And what that means is it has this iridescent coating that, look at that, when, this, when the light shines on it, it just shines so, and so they just, they just shine and sparkle. Oh, I just, I love them, love them, love them. Okay, then we have, here's, we're getting into some grays. We have 415, 414, let me see if I can get this up closer. So we got two of the 414s, and then we have this light gray, 762, oh, bright green, oh, 702. We have two of those, and then we have two of this brown. Now, this is, uh, this is also a bright green, 912, but it's got like, I don't know, it's like a deep mint green, bright green. Oh, here's another AB, 107. <gasps> Which is this red AB. Oh my. Oh, I'm in love with that one. <gasps> Look how shiny. Oh, I love that one. And then we have purple. And then here's a red. 321. And then we have another purple. Taupe. Dark taupe. Bright orange. Okay, so that's the second train down. All right. Here we have another green cream. Uh, there's two of this dark gray. One, two of the 938, which is a dark chocolate. 898 is another dark chocolate. Here's a dark green, 319. Then we have another cream, like a tan. Oh, there's two of these bright greens. You knew there was going to be a lot of green with all that foliage, right? And then two of the 890 darker greens. Ooh, look at that light, like lime green, 703. We have like a fuchsia, 498. Ooh, now there is, there is like mint. Look at that mint color. I like that. <gasps> Here's our third AB, which is this orange. There's not a whole lot of that one, but there's still, you know, there's still going to be some in there. And then we have like a... Uh, pinky peach. All right. Almost, almost through the trains. We got, we got two more trains here. Okay. Three, three, seven, one. We have one, two, we have three of the three, three, seven ones, which is that really, really dark chocolate. And then we have one, two, three, three tens. And then we have 317. There's two of those, which are another like blue gray. 909. We have two of those greens. 742. Yellow orange. 
All right, last tray, which means our last two or three ABs. How many, how many ABs? We've, no, we've done three. We've seen three. So there's two more ABs left. So we have this yellow. Oh, yep. Speaking of AB, there it is. There's a pink. 113. Oh, like, look how pretty. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, that pink. <gasps> oh, I love it. And then we have another cream, light pink, dark pink. There's my, what I call, mango. Here's, oh, look, look. Oh, look, the blues wanted to hang out with the mint. Look at it. They're saying, hey, we're friends. <laughs> and then we have this pretty blue and some more purple. Oh, now that blue, that looks like a Caribbean blue. I like that one. Like a little bit of tealish in it. Um, we got army green gray. <laughs> There's a country blue. Oh, now you want to talk about teal. There is some teal going on there. Oh, now this right here. Here's our last AB, which is 120. That blue AB. Like I said, there's not a lot of it either, but it is really pretty. And we have some light yellows. We have what I call brick color. Little lavender and a little bit of sky blue. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I'm going to pull you up, and turn this over, and I'm going to walk around and try to show you the ABs. Okay, so I did film this, um, and I walked around. Uh, I do not have a microphone, uh -huh, and I just, I, I talked like I normally do, and I realized that you could not hear me as I was walking around, um, because I do have to get a microphone. So, what I'm going to do to kind of show you where the AB is, is I'm just going to have to show you the closer up and, and, and then just move up the canvas, okay? Um, and then I'll put the canvas back fully uh, as you see it. So, um, in... Your frog right here, you have some of the orange AB. Now, this color right here, these are your fives. That's your green AB. That's that one that has the two massive um, bags. So, you have it all throughout here. You also have some of the orange AB right here. Right here, you have some of that blue AB going throughout that bird. Look at your little duckling right there. Look at that duck. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Okay, right here, you have, these are your pink ABs going all throughout these flowers right here. Is that pink AB. Okay, and then as we move up, let me see. Um, let me bring you down. So we have some ones going in this flower. In this flower, we have some ones. We also have some fours. So we have some, we have the red and the orange ABs going there. We have some orange AB on each of these white flowers right there. Okay, so now we're up to here. We have... This red that you see right here in this flower, that is that red AB. Now, all where you see this brightish color right there of green, those are uh, those are going to have that green AB. That's why there's so many in the kit. Okay. In this flower right here, in the red, there's some of that red AB. We have some of the yellow AB going here. All right. This flower, we have some of the, uh, a little bit of the red. This brighter part of the red, that's got your red AB here. Uh, in this flower, it is edged with that red. This one right here, right here. All of these are edged with that red AB. You have some of that pink AB going right here. Uh, right here in this hummingbird, which I thought was a flower, and it's not, not until I looked back at it and went, oh, that's a hummingbird. In this hummingbird, in the head, you have some red AB, and right here at its crest, or at the breast right here, it's a little bit of blue AB. Your macaw is what's really going to sparkle because all of that bright, all of this bright red 
that you see going throughout the head and the tail are the red ABs. This blue that you see going through here, there's that blue AB, and then you even have some of the orange AB going within these feathers. Uh, you do have some, um, no, sorry, where was it? Yep, there's a little bit of uh, red ABs there. So, I mean, your color, color ones might not be everywhere. All right, let me bring you back up. So, you know, you might not have, like, huge chunks like you know like just boom color blocking of the ab's but you definitely have them scattered all throughout this painting to give you some of those absolutely gorgeous colors and i am just <gasps> whoo i am so excited to do this one um i i just i know that i am absolutely going to love working on this painting Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and put you back to the video where you'll be able to hear me again. And I do apologize for having to uh, do this part, but here I thought I was loud enough. I just need to go get me a microphone. So back to the video. I am oh, like, how can you not love this? I mean, okay, I think my favorite, obviously the macaw. The macaw is one of my favorites, but I look at that red panda. Look at that capuchin monkey. You have the sea turtle there. At least I think that's a sea turtle because that's what it looks like with the longer flippers. You've, oh, look, I didn't notice the hummingbird. <gasps> We've got a hummingbird and our elephant. Look at our meerkat. Look at that bear. A giraffe. It even looks like a baby giraffe, right? And here we have a baby. All of these, I think, are all of these are babies, okay? Oh, just, just look. Just look at these babies. Oh, now I'm telling you right now. It's, not only is it amazing that we have all of these animals in one painting. But the reason why, I mean, young and wild, you're talking about baby animals. Who does not love baby animals? So if you have not had a chance to go, because it is not, as of when I've been filming this, it was not sold out. Y'all, this is one, if you love animals and you love baby animals, this is one that you want to get. Because all of these, all of these are baby animals. Look, you even have a duckling right here. So you have all of these. Oh, look, I didn't notice this one before either. <gasps> we have a chameleon. See, look, he blended in. He blended in. So we got a frog. We have a bird. We have a duckling. A, a little gorilla. We have a penguin. Zebra. Chameleon. It's a bear. Meerkat. Giraffe. Uh, I think that's a gazelle. You have the lion, the red panda, capuchin, the macaw, the turtle, the elephant. And, you know, it would not surprise me if there were more that I am missing. But, like, just the sheer number of animals on this has got me absolutely <gasps> so excited. I was doing my little excited dance. Sorry. <laughs> if it shook the camera, I apologize. I absolutely love animals. I love baby animals. I even watch them constantly on like Netflix. And I like look up baby animal videos just because I I have, I, believe it or not, I have gotten to actually hold a, a baby lion cub. And it was probably one of the most amazing experiences that I've ever had. Um, and so Diamond Art Club, thank you so much for sending this one to me because I am in love with these babies. And Linda Howard Bittner, you did an amazing job on bringing these, these babies to life. And I cannot wait to work on this and, and watch them just bloom right before my eyes. Oh. So I hope that you will go. I will have the link down in the description 
uh, since this is a first look versus a sneak peek i will have the link so that you can go if you have not purchased it and you love you some baby animals especially exotics that you can go and get you some because get you one of these because they are fabulous oh i am so in love and if you love this video please hit that like button down below the thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and if you're new to my channel i would love for you to subscribe and become part of my crazy adventure um so I am excited. I am happy. Thank you again, uh, Dime Art Co., just for having amazing artwork. We, we love these artists, and we love supporting these artists. So thank you so much. A little bit of wild into my life. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave you like I always do. Reach for the stars, and grab hold, hold on, and never let go. Until my next video, bye, guys.